Hey guys, my name is Aliaster and welcome back to the playthrough of Valkyrie Chronicles 4, the demo on PlayStation 4. So, uh, yesterday we got to meet uh, the squad, squad 6. We met Claude, we met, we met Raz, Kai, and uh, of course Minerva. <laughs> I love it how her name sounds like so edgy. Uh, when you pronounce it correctly, since... Uh, you know, uh, Minerva is actually a Roman goddess, uh, which, amongst one things, Allow is a goddess of strategic position. warfare. <laughs> so, it, it fits well. Okay, so, uh, I'll shut up just in a moment, so allow me to explain next mission. As you know, Fort Crest has a 21 centimeter howitzer that's blocking our advance. Uh huh, okay. It might just look like an old castle turned into a makeshift fort. But they've stationed quite a few troops to defend the cannon. If we get too close, those turrets on the walls will mow us down. So, snipers it is. So when does our own cannon get here? Yeah, good. That, that's, that's a good question. That howitzer already destroyed it. We were outranged. Okay. Blown up already? How long will the replacement take? The bridge was destroyed too, so the artillery tractor can't proceed. It will take at least seven days. Too long. Though we do have plenty of infantry en route. Doesn't matter how many foot soldiers we get. Without a cannon, we're just waiting around. Not necessarily. Huh? Okay, let's see what's the plan. Time is of the essence. We don't have a week to wait. You're as sharp as ever. Why, thank you. <laughs> like he says, we can't afford to wait. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. That's too reckless. Those turrets would fill us with more holes than golly and cheese. <laughs> okay, at least someone is reasonable in here. It's a dangerous mission, I know. But those are your orders. Okay, so you go on, on to the front, and after that we can talk. This isn't your local militia. This is what you signed up for when you joined the Edinburgh army. You're right. We enlisted to crush the Empire. Not to commit suicide. Well, <laughs> second reasonable person. Then allow me to clue you in on something. Crystal, tell them the news. Probably yes, there's a firing squad. This morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. Oh, shit. They've invaded? I knew it was only a matter of time. What about our hometown? Is Hoffman okay? All we know is that the battle broke out near the border, at Citadel Girlandio. The Imperial Army, however, is being led by Prince Maximilian himself. Gallia's prospects look grim. Okay, so I wasn't sure yet, uh, I, I kind of forgot, but Valkyrie Chronicles 4 actually takes place uh, during the same time as uh, uh, as Valkyrie Chronicles the original. So, uh, we're going, we're gonna go, this might be interesting, but we're, we're simply on a different continent. Is there nothing uh, sorry. we can do? If Operation Northern Cross goes as planned, the Empire won't have the luxury of staying on the offensive. Mm -hmm, okay. Our only option is to complete the mission as soon as possible. But the problem remains, the Houtzer. How do we get rid of it? Choice, then. If our home's in the Empire's sights, then we've got to protect it. Yeah, let's do it for Gallia. Okay, I like their I like their spirits, but it still doesn't doesn't change the fact that we're against a a heavy cannon. Here are your orders. Okay. Ah, all right. So at least it's a stationary cannon. Okay, Squatty will lay siege to the castle and capture the enemy camp. Mm. However, turrets are guarding the entrance. 
If you wander into the machine gun's range, they'll cut through you like carving a cake. Okay. Uh, concentrate on gaining a foothold instead. The plaza out front will do. But first, you'll need to get into place. Position units on the battlefield to do so. Okay, okay, so... Alright, so 20 turn uh, limit is still in. The enemy base uh, victory conditions are for us to capture the enemy base camp. Okay, failure. The enemy occupies your base camp. It won't happen. All allied infantry fall in action. Nah, nah I don't think so. 20 turns pass. Alright. Okay, Siege of the Castle. Uh, Fort Crest. Capture the enemy base at Fort Crest by eliminating the enemy soldiers in its vicinity, then pressing X near the flag. Your main objective is marked by a star. Okay. Okay, so, another so, sort of like tutorial mission. This, this will also teach us a very important thing. Uh, capturing the enemy camps. So, first things first. Uh, we're gonna position our units. Okay, unit placement and leaders. Position units to choose which soldiers to deploy and where to place them. Okay. Uh, use directional uh, pads uh, to directional buttons to choose a camp to deploy units to confirm with X button. Some missions offer multiple camps. Once a camp has been chosen, pick a unit from the roster to put them in position. Tanks can only be placed in spots with a tank icon, and infantry can only be deployed to one to one more spot. Uh, command point symbol is displayed beside the name of some units of their on their profile window. These units are known as leaders. So yeah, Raz, Claude, probably Kai as well. By including them on the field, they'll each add one uh, command point to your total, allowing you to control more units per turn. Okay, this is great. Uh, deploy more leaders to gain more uh, command points. Intel has reported a tank on the field. Deploying a Lancer here is recommended. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna deploy a Lancer as well, but first things first, always, always deploy your leaders. So, finally I can go bonkers on the, on the snipers, since we have, uh, we have Kai. I, I always liked sniper class in, in Valkyria Chronicles, however, uh, they were a bit underpowered. To say the least, at least uh, in the first game, supposedly. In the second, you could make a monsters out of them who were able to take out tanks on their own. Okay, Aladdin, Ballard, uh, Nish, Le Preton. Uh, let's hope for, for some other snipers, uh, better looking ones. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm simple. Uh, okay, okay, but we need a Lancer. Uh, we need a Lancer like for yesterday, so what do we get? Uh, Okay, Brittany. Okay, Jean. I like your style. I like I like the the mm, the braids you're rocking. Let's so, all right, and your spirit. Okay, we're gonna take. We're also gonna take at least one one medic, uh, one engineer. I'm sorry. Okay, so an engineer. Right, here we go. Who do we take as? Additionally, do we go for a scout? Rosetta Valeriano. Uh, Nico Emery. Mm, Teresa Leach. Oh, I like her last name. Okay, tell you what. Yeah, we're gonna go with one of each uh, of the classes. So, uh, Curtis? You're up. Uh, okay, yeah, so uh, Do we No, we, we need to deploy we cannot yeah deploy go Now capture that cannon Yeah, right away with you You ready take down the Imperial camp capture their heavy artillery squad E move out and it's so it's so good that there was like no loading screen whatsoever we're like immediately taken into the action. Okay. Expected resistance, but they're tough nuts to crack. What should we do? Can't camp like there is no tomorrow and pick them up one pick them off one by one. We can't exactly rush in and kick the door down. We'll get routed if we don't have a plan. Yeah. Yeah, Claude, I like him. He he he's like a good First, leader. We need a solid foothold. 
Let's capture that camp. Okay. After <clears> that, <throat> well, guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, also, also a proper... <laughs> uh, a proper way to tackle the problem. Weapons free. <clears throat> Squad E, move out. Yeah, let's roll. Okay. So... Pay attention, Claude. Your leadership skills are going to be put to the test. Alright, so... Do we get commands? Uh, can we give orders? Uh, so soon? Most out of your soldiers. Don't forget the basics. Yeah, good point. Keep that in mind. Okay. Camps. So... Camps are set up across the battlefield. Uh, battlefield. Uh, units stationed near an allied camp receive a bonus to defense and HP recovery at the start of each turn. Uh, occupying a camp allows you to call for reinforcements or have a unit retreat. Yeah, so if we have a half-dead unit and we have a friendly camp nearby, we can send them off of the battlefield and put a new unit instead. Uh, all right capture an enemy camp by defeating all the enemy units within it then moving through a flag and pressing the X button If there are no allies in your camp the enemy can capture it from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, This this didn't change at all. Uh, there were two kinds of camps uh, Okay, okay uh, Base camps and field camps capture the enemy base camp while defending your own to win. So yeah base camp insta win Expanding your squad's capabilities by capturing field camps early on will help you pay the way to victory. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Now! Okay, so there is a light tank. Uh, and there is another one. This is a scout, so... We're... They wanna be posing a problem just yet. Okay, but how do we go on about okay? We we don't have any way to, to push through here. So We're gonna go in with our tank first uh, probably follow up with our uh, With our Lancer afterwards uh, We're gonna rock uh, our engineer because what's important the engineers uh, function as medics as well as mechanics uh, if I recall correctly and if it didn't change in this uh, in this uh, uh, version of the game so basically whenever an engineer moves toward uh, moves uh, near a friendly unit or a tank it reveals uh, its ammunition so for instance Lancers uh, should have a limited supply of rockets. Uh, I think it was three. So if we move an engineer next to a Lancer, we don't need to use any special attack or uh, action. Simply moving next to a to a Lancer should refill his um, his rockets. Same thing goes for the tanks. And at the same time, we can uh, provide strong healing for our troops as well as fixing the tanks. So. But okay, let's get to it. Uh, man, you don't. Advancing. But the tank using only a single command point. All right, iron will interception damage pile. Oh. Overburden? Ah oh, man. <laughs> okay, that didn't go very well. All right. Uh, okay, field actions. Uh, press X when a prompt appears near a certain terrain near certain terrain to take special action. Uh, what? What do I do? Uh, pressing X in tall grass lets you drop prawn and crawl to hide f from enemies. All right. Uh, climbing ladders to reach higher ground is another common field action. Yeah, yeah. So that's 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 old news. Uh, field actions can only be taken when a prompt for X appears on screen. Okay. Alright. Uh, do we go for the gold? Yeah, I think so. So, like now, since your ass is exposed, uh, let's go for a point blank, point blank kill. Oh my god! Claude! I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> So okay, this is this is what we need. Lancers. 
The Lancer's class uses anti-tank anti weaponry. So, they have the defense and HP to maneuver behind tanks and hit the weak points. Lancers are also resistant to explosives and taking less damage from mortars and grenades. Uh, their power is offset by low AP and slow movement speed, so they're better suited to fighting tanks than Reckon or Assault. So yeah, they, they don't... They, they won't win the marathon. Okay, Jean? Or Jean? I think we were gonna go with Jean. What?! Accuracy down? I mean, how much more of that, that crap? Okay, yeah. So, we're gonna move slow and steady. And obviously, we have to take the tank out with our Lancer, since... Uh, since our artillery operator in our tank... I don't know if it's Claude, but he's half blind. Now, uh, let's see whether you will have more luck in targeting this, this crap. All right, yeah. Uh, maybe that was actually scripted no, for us. Maybe it was actually Good scripted work. for us to miss so that we would have to use the Lancer. Okay. Mm, now. Who is here? Okay, they have an engineer as well. But we're also prepped for that, so. Nothing to it. Okay. Owlard. <laughs> I wanted to read it like... Alucard, I don't know why. Yeah, okay, engineers. The engineer class makes up for low combat prowess with unique abilities. Resupply, repair, and revive. Okay, in action mode, engineers can resupply an ally's ammo by moving close to them. So yeah, that's what I was uh, what I was telling before. Mm. They can also repair sandbags and ladders they, uh, that have been destroyed by moving close and pressing X as a field action. I don't remember that one. Unlike normal Ragnite, Revival Ragnite can revive allies in critical uh, condition. Okay, that's that's good. That's very good, actually. Uh, they can also use their vehicle repair kit to restore HP to vehicular units. So, Revival Ragnite and the ve uh, vehicle repair kit can both be used in target mode. Don't hesitate to use them when the need arises. Yes, always keep that in mind. Okay, uh, alright, another tutorial. Ragnite. Uh, infantry automatically recover a small amount of HP each player phase, but sometimes they need immediate healing. Uh, switch to Ragnite with uh, the square button, then press R1 and select target. Place the crossers on a nearby ally to heal them, or place them on no one to heal the unit using the Ragnite. So basically, heal, heal yourself. Uh, right. So yeah, as you saw, we just resupplied uh, Raz, even though we didn't need to. But we're gonna resupply Jean. Uh, Jean. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so we're gonna push onward. Uh, how do we go on about it? Okay, uh, he should. Yeah, while we're on the grass, they cannot target us. So that's good. Okay. Uh. Do we need to do anything? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, we we could have healed uh, healed Jean, but okay. Now this is gonna be tricky because we need to we need to get this one. We need to ride our tank in and not to not to move over our our engineer. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna move soon. Also, our scout, in order to to have a unit. Oh, what? Okay, sidelines. Uh, so first things first. Uh, in order to have a unit that can quickly move around the battlefield and capture uh, an, an empty camp, because we're gonna we're gonna make sure it's empty one way or another. Okay. So sidelines. Uh, when a unit sees an enemy in action mode, a sideline will appear over their head. Sidelines point in the direction of a visible enemy's location and represent different things depending on the color. Uh, blue line, the enemy hasn't spotted you. Yellow line, the enemy has spotted you. Uh, red line, the enemy is firing at you. Yeah, you will see that. Green line, the enemy is busy reloading. Well, that's new. Use the sidelines as a guide when attacking or when trying to position your units into a spot where they will be safe from attacks. Yeah, but they don't—they don't say like uh, whether 
how how do the units spot you? Okay, now the big question: Do we go for this guy or do we go with the mortar and hope for the best and kill this guy? I think I think it's it's wiser to actually go for the engineer. Okay, uh, bye bye. Right there. Yeah. So we cut off their medical supplies. So yeah, we're gonna end the current action. Um, we're gonna move in. Uh, we're gonna move Curtis. Moving out. So that we will have a better spot later on. Because mm, we will need to to move in at one point. Okay. There is a there is a bloody turret in there. Okay, uh, we're leaving Curtis here. Now, I think it would be also wise to move Kai in. Now advancing. Yeah, you do that. Uh, because we will be going after that turret. Yeah, this should allow us to at least attempt an attack on him. What? Four shots to kill? Why that many? Well, whatever. We're taking him. Okay, you cannot make headshots all the time. Okay, so we're gonna end the action. Now, what to do, what to do? Hmm. The thing is, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna end in here. Since... Okay, the Gatling turret. It may have sights of, on, on us, but they cannot... They cannot fire at us. Uh, so, yeah, if we move the Lancer, I don't know if we will be able to move him into a spot. Where or you know what? Yeah, screw that, we're going in. Don't waste any Because there there's no chance that we will get there, so we will reposition ourselves. Boom. Yeah. Ah man. Our squad not doing so hot right now. For all, yeah, end the current action. Okay, uh, but yeah, we're gonna end the phase. We can leave Raz behind for now. I don't think there was much need of an anti-infantry unit for now. Yeah, the that shock trooper. If he moves towards the tank, we will use our our machine guns to actually get rid of him. Okay, so that tank does a, doesn't give a shit. Okay, critical condition HP recovery. So far, so good. Okay, units whose HP falls to zero are in critical condition and cannot use CP to take actions. If a unit is taking heavy damage, try to keep them out of danger. Okay, foot soldiers stationed near an allied camp get a boost to the amount of HP recovered at the start of each turn. Good. Tanks do not recover lost HP unless they are near an allied camp. If a tank's HP reaches zero, it immediately retreats. Hopefully, it's not a game over. Okay, so you... You are basically dead if you're in our sights. And... Even if he would be able to move behind us, there's no way... Well, I might be overstating it, but... Yeah, fire back only one. Okay, but... Who is that? Okay, that's a scout. And we could we could mortar his ass, or maybe not because, ah oh man, but they they could have added the the area of effect, like circle or something, to, so that we know whether we actually get the guy. Because I don't know, maybe he is, maybe he's not within the range of the mortar. I cannot make it out. So, old pro new game, old problems. <laughs> well, whatever. 
Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be using mortar on this guy, but we will be using this. Okay, so given our crap, uh, crap aim, I think we're gonna go for the main body. Yeah, good. Okay, uh, yeah, this is good. Now, uh, we can... Uh, we will move Gene. Let's get physical. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. Okay, how do we look? Okay, uh, do we want to risk it? No. Okay, this is better. A tad bit. Okay. Uh, okay, let's attempt it. Okay, go. Okay, that was fucking stupid of me. Don't sweat the small stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, even better. Oh my god, what? Found him. Okay. A different approach. We're getting rid of the tank. Oh, thank god. Jesus. Finally, something good. Nowhere to be found. Okay. Uh, so, we're gonna get rid of the tank. We're not gonna give a chance to the engineer uh, to run up and recover it. Yeah. Okay, so that's one problem down. Also, we've established that Gene can shoot for shit. Uh, of course, that was my, my fault. <laughs> that I assumed that uh, the missile would go through through the wall however mistakes happen that's all I'm gonna say uh, all right um, okay but there's a shock trooper so that's bad okay Kai move in I need you to be dead spot on with this one. Okay. Now, we should be able to see him. Nope, nope. Now, can we can we take it? This previous miss was bad. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Didn't take much. Yeah, more than uh, more than made up for for that nasty miss back then. Also, I love her cap. It's, it's really cool. Uh, okay, but we need to move out of sight. Watch out for anti-tank Whoever that is, he can uh, he will not be able to mark us. Okay, uh, let's go here. Or should we actually go for one more shot? Do we want to be greedy? Tell you what, uh, okay, we're gonna have to go through there, there, okay, we will need to move our tank sooner or later, and, yeah, we will move Raz, actually, because there is no other way, we need to have someone who's able to shoot, should all come to worst. Rask can st stand in the open. He he doesn't care. He's buff. And uh, yeah, let's move Curtis. Understood. Okay. And hope we don't die. Okay, he's wide open. Yeah, let's scout ahead. Okay. Boom. Yeah, good. So, how do we look? Uh, that's a... That's a turret. Okay. So. Let's, let's go for the headshots. Going down. Alright. I think he's as good as dead. Because if he moves, uh, Curtis should intercept him. Yeah, we're gonna end our phase. So, uh, next turn, we're moving in with our tank. Okay, reinforcements. A soldier is not currently deployed or waiting in the reserves. Reserve units can be deployed from allied camps and as reinforcements. 
Select a camp in command mode and press X to display the list of available units. Once the call for backup has been sent, the unit will arrive on your next base. Reinforcement requests will be cancelled if the unit if the camp is taken before the reserve unit can be deployed there. Alright, so that's worth noting. Uh, the enemy can likewise call for backup. Yeah, trust me, they will. The only way to stop this from happening is to capture the enemy can the enemy's camp ASAP. Alright, now what do you do? Okay, you you are dead. There. Yeah, see? Not wise, not wise. Now. Okay. Uh, can we go through here? Okay, either way, okay, moving we up. will get rid of someone. Kill confirmed. Not bad out there. So I'll tell you what. We're gonna nuke him. Because either way, uh, this way we will uh, destroy the sandbags, get him out of the of the camp. Blam! Target destroyed. All right, now do we want to go for broke? That is the question. We will need to clear the way first for Curtis to advance. So. Uh, this might be a bad idea. No, it's actually it's not gonna be that bad. Okay, moving out. Uh, we're gonna move happen again, since it's only one point. I mean, I cannot get over it. I mean, it's so good that the tank only uses one action point. Uh, okay. Yeah, I fucked up. Uh, we should have actually gone. For uh, for our engineer first. Well, you know what we got. We gotta go with what we know. Nice. All right. Right there. Okay, good, good. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Now, can we move Raz up enough? Here comes the pain. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's so cool. Okay, Raz, fire off. Okay, we need one good shot. So. Nice. Uh, although I would have... I would have liked for... For the animations to have been updated. Uh, because I believe that those animations are actually from way... Uh, the animations used, like when the enemies fall down, are from Valkyria Chronicles 1 still. So, okay, what the hell? Okay, grenade. Um, no, oh, now you're telling me. Okay, enemies crouch behind sandbags to take significantly reduced damage. Grenades and other explosives can destroy sandbags, leaving enemies without cover. Use grenades by entering target mode and pressing uh, the square to switch weapons. However, grenades come in limited supply. Uh, yeah, but our engineer resupplies them. Weapons with limited ammo like grenades recover one use per player phase. Sandbags aren't uh, the only destructible object, so try blowing up or driving over anything that looks suspicious. Alright, uh, good. So, we're gonna take the camp. Yeah, kill that guy. And you know what? Uh, I think we're actually gonna go for the ballsy move. Okay, retreating. No, we don't need to retreat. We need to move. Uh, no more than 10 foot soldiers can be deployed on the map at once. Uh, after that, you're unable to call for reinforcements. Well, 10 is a lot. You can substitute out currently deployed units for reserve units. So, retreat by moving a unit into an ally camp facing the flag and pressing X. Uh, okay, you can, also re you can also press the triangle button in command mode to retreat while a unit is in the camp. This method does not cost you any any command points. Oh man, really? Really? A unit outside of a camp can still be sent to the reserves by pressing triangle and sending them on a forced retreat. 
Force retreats cost one command point, as does deploying a unit from the reserves. All right, so we can we can save our units. Should should it all come to worst? Uh, no, 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 no. That. Okay, crouch. Now, Curtis. Uh, I need you to pop a headshot. Going down. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we're gonna go for the gold. Uh, yeah, defeated leaders. We did not defeat him, but when a leader is defeated, their CP is nullified. Their commander will receive fewer command points at the start of their phases. Uh, both allies and enemies have leaders. Claude and Raz are leaders in squad e, as well as Kai. Let's not forget that. Uh, keep your leader units protected while actively seeking out and destroying enemy leaders to reduce their CP pool. So, we're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what? Uh, morale boosts. Okay, taking down an enemy or capturing an enemy camp can trigger a morale boost, so that's what happened. Morale boosts grant a higher chance of activating potentials and dodging. Yeah, we don't know about potentials just yet. Uh, they end when the uni unit takes another action. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we don't know, but we encounter them. The, the potentials are the, when it occurs, like uh, accuracy up for Raz, uh, accuracy up for Claude, stuff like that. If the unit is under heavy fire, it may be wise to hold on to their on to their morale boost by not taking any actions on that turn. All right, uh, but we will take the action. God damn. I can do this. Yeah. Uh, we're going in hard. Actually, you know what? Screw that guy. We're going. We're going in for 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 the gold. So, this is the most basic of the basic uh, strategies in in Valkyrie Chronicles. They're too well fortified. Yeah. With the camp, we can't advance like this. It's like we could have just dashed past all of the enemies without the need to kill anybody. As long as we've captured the camp, it's all over. It's all over. So sometimes uh, it would be even enough, uh, even if we didn't kill the enemy that was sitting there with our mortar. It was enough for him if we would have gotten him out of the camp. He could be standing next to it. If we take it, if we capture it, we win. So that's the that's more mainly the objectives uh, during the missions. Uh, at least uh, as far as I remember. I don't know how they switch it up in Valkyrie Chronicles 4, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, but that's that. Bad Claude. If this keeps up, the most down. Come on, let's just go all out and charge him. Better than sitting here and dying, right? Yeah, I don't want either. No, a frontal assault is way too dangerous. We have to stand back. Easy for you to say. Damn, if only we had artillery. There has to be some way through. Just hang on until I find it. Okay. Huh? Uh, victory conditions has changed. Any allied unit reach any allied unit reaches the target. Okay. Um, oh, nice. Uh, they all teleported. Oh shit. Okay, this is bad. Okay, Gatling turret. Two shock troopers. God damn it. Okay, we're in for a world of hurt. We cannot, we cannot go with, I don't know how we're gonna go about it, okay. Uh, let's, let's try Raz. Let's see whether we get attacked by the turrets. Oh shit. Okay, okay, good. Okay, this is bad. Okay, we need to get rid of the turrets, and as well, we need to we need to move Raz into cover. Ah, shit. Okay, that was bad. I wanted to get behind the sandbags. Okay, the medic. Units uh, whose HP falls to zero are in critical conditions and cannot use CP to take actions. 
Uh, leaving it in the state for three turns or allowing an enemy to touch them results them in, in their results in their being incapacitated. Except in very few exceptional cases, incapacitation means that the soldier is dead and will disappear from your squad. Okay, that's good. Oh man, in order to prevent this, an ally unit, you must make contact with the down unit before a tragic end befalls them. Fuck. When a unit reaches an ally in critical condition, the medic will evacuate them. They, they can be redeployed on the next turn. Avoid losing soldiers by rescuing units in critical condition ASAP. And sometimes an unexpected ally might help evacuate. Damn it! Enemies everywhere. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck are we supposed to do? All right, I think this is our artillery specialist. Wait, Cinder, what now? This sure is hell ain't a fairy tale. I'd love to get to the ball at the castle, but I don't even have a pumpkin, let alone a carriage. I have no idea what what he just said. Seriously? What's gotten into you, Claude? Ah, okay, he's uh, he's going into Cinderella. Magic, huh? We could use a little. If it was real. Okay, reinforcements have arrived. Alright! So, who do we get here? Riley! Who are you? Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we need to go. Here I go. Riley, you're up. So, ah, Grenadiers! Okay, that sounds nasty. The Grenadiers class launches explosives from their mortars in an arc to reach enemies behind the cover or in the high ground. Uh, grenadiers can intercept enemies behind cover as long as an ally can see them. Man, nice. Their interception fire also slows down the target's move. Wow, this is good. Grenadiers pack a lot of firepower, but it takes time for them to set up line, line up the shot and then attack. They're vulnerable to attack while setting up their mortars, so be careful not to get them stuck in a position under heavy fire. So, okay, pack a mortar, uh, back up by pressing X. As a fire support unit, coordinating with more mobile classes is crucial. Okay, so. Uh, Please be aware of your surroundings. I, I'm trying to. Okay, yeah, finally we see where we were gonna hit. Uh, some, somewhat. Okay, I can't see shit. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's drop it directly on his head. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Take this. Oh, man! <laughs> this is so cool! Well, it didn't take her very long. Now. Don't get too close. Okay. Uh, Show no weakness. We need to we need to get rid of all of them. And we need to take Raz out of there. And man, uh, this is going to be dicey. Or maybe not. Well, whatever. Riley Ah, okay, so this is how it works. So we cannot set it up on our own. So we need to actually end our turn, it seems. Okay, you. You need to die as well. Okay, good that the camera can be moved freely. Okay, so... You die. Nice. Okay, now. Better not screw this one up, Claude. Yeah. I'm kind of scared of going in. I'll rip you apart. Because I don't know their range. But we need to get to Raz. Okay. Uh, 
Now let's see whether we can get this guy as well, so... We're gonna be going hard with Riley. Okay, we can get him. And the artillery is gonna be like so helpful. Also worth noting, this is what uh, in the previous games uh, Lancers were also able to do. Uh, in a way that... Why, why does it take to... Yeah, we're gonna drop it directly on his head. Uh, as in, uh, the Lancers could also equip Mortar Lances, which were basically... Which were working in similar manner as uh, the Grenadiers. Ah, shit, he's alive. Okay, okay. Uh, that was within... Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. At we're least we out. took Raz. You're gonna be okay. All right. You'll be okay. I know Raz has doing. been evacuated. Now, uh, yeah, we're crouched, so that's good. But we cannot get our tank in there. Yeah, we need we need additional we need additional shock troopers. So, Viola, Amy, who do we want to go with? Amy, you seem cool. Okay, we're gonna go. Understood. Yeah, we, we also need to get some foothold in there. So, Curtis, run like the wind. Don't stop, don't look behind, ahead, or, or whatever. Just survive, man. Watch out for counterattacks. Oh, shit. This is bad. I'll rip you apart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna end our phase. Hope for the best, expect the worst. Okay, enemies are moving. Oh, oh. Those are actually... Those are actually scouts. Okay, Curtis. Fire! Okay, good interception fire. Too slow. Okay, he's dead. Sorta, of, kind of. There. Yeah. We will move Emmy to finish him off. As well as uh, we will start off. Now we will start off with a shock trooper. Okay, he he cannot get in here. He don't have. He doesn't have the AP. Oh man! All right, Mr. Shock Trooper, there. you die. Okay, so what are we gonna do? So first order of business is gonna be to move Kai in, cause. We're
allies have been taken out. Can we really defend this position? They're in range. Let's provide support with the Hoffman. Time to make some money. Understood. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. Understood. Watch out for counterattack. All right, we broke through. Keep advancing. Capture that cannon. Federation bastards. We won't let the blood, sweat, and tears of the Imperial people fall into your hands! Glory 
to the motherland! Everyone, get down! You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. They might got disconnected so that's went on for for a long time so uh we're gonna save in here uh we did good uh we we took the a uh on, unfortunately <laughs> ras got the the short end of the stick but guys uh, i do hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the if you like what you see valkyria chronicles comes out at september 25th 2018 uh, on Xbox One, Switch, and PlayStation 4. So if you're interested, pick it up. I'm sure I will be uh, getting it. But with that out of the way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. It helps a lot. And I will be seeing you next time, okay? So take care and bye-bye.